We continue to follow new information on the terror in Orlando. There's now more insight about the planning behind the attack. The FBI is investigating claims that Omar Mateen visited gay clubs and used dating apps to contact men prior to the shooting. Investigators want to know if Mateen and his wife recently visited the nightclub where he opened fire. They also want to figure out how much Mateen knew about his plans, Mateen's wife that is, and if she will face charges. It comes as questions continue about Mateen's exact for killing 49 people and injuring 53 others. It appears to have been an angry, disturbed, unstable young man who became radicalized. Well, in a forceful anti-terrorism speech today, President Obama says the ideals by which we live are our strength when fighting enemies. And he took on one of the presidential candidates, you know which one. As KRDO News Channel 13's Eric Fink shows us, the president did not hold back. And our message is clear. If you target America and our allies, you will not be safe. You will never be safe. It started out as a speech to combat terrorism. Then President Obama shifted focus to Donald Trump. The president never mentioned Trump by name, instead going after his ideas and tweets like this one just hours after the Orlando attack that called for Obama's resignation. But there's no magic to the phrase radical Islam. It's a political talking point. It's not a strategy. Calling a threat by a different name does not make it go away. Obama hammered the GOP presumptive nominee's proposal to enact a temporary ban on Muslims coming into the United States, reminding us that Omar Mateen was born in New York. And if we fall into the trap of painting all Muslims with a broad brush and, imp and imply that we are at war with an entire religion, then we are doing the terrorist work for them. Campaigning today in, in Pittsburgh, end, Hillary Clinton matter. supported the president's comments. Trump, as usual, is obsessed with name calling. And from my perspective, it matters what we do, not just what we say. A terrorism expert and foreign affairs professor here at UCCS calls Trump's proposal to ban Muslims and his rhetoric a threat to national security. That rhetoric is playing directly into the, not only ISIS hands, all other terrorist organizations that have the United States on their radar. Although Trump hasn't responded to the president's remarks, he isn't backing down. When it comes to radical Islamic terrorism, ignorance is not bliss. It's deadly, totally deadly. Eric Fink, KRDO News Channel 13. Former FBI profiler Pete Klismet says he doesn't believe the attack in Orlando is linked to ISIS. In a statement to our newsroom, he wrote, I think we're making a big mistake by trying to paint this as something it isn't. Even ISIS had no clue who he was, and their reaction on social media was surprise about.